Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Orchid Loving. Orchid and Gardening Loving YouTubers. Today I'm just going to do a quick update on my Wrinkolalia Brassavola Digbiana. Yeah, I purchased this from Andy's Orchids maybe about five or six years ago or something like that. But, uh, I did a video of her when I purchased her. I tried to check my library for it, but I don't know if it's in my library. Uh, but anyway, that pseudobulb is progressing very good. Let me try to let you see what's down there. Let me put a zoom on. Is that Muffet down in there? Is that you Muff down in there? Muffet is not doing... Okay, let me take this, get back to the plant. Okay, where is it? There it is. You see that shadow in there? Yeah, after four years. Yeah, I divided her four years ago, I believe. Yeah, and she sulked for four years. Didn't do a thing. Couldn't get nothing. Nothing out of this girl. Now, or this plant, now... I got a shadow. Big fat bulb in there. And I'm hoping this bulb, this pseudobulb does the same thing because it's kind of fat here. And this pseudobulb is plump too here. So I'm hoping that they'll show me some love also. Yeah, Muffet is sulking today because uh, we had to go to the vet yesterday. It was time for her, her uh, tag renewal. I normally get them renewed every every three years and she get her shots her rabies and all of that other stuff and the heartworm tests it came to about 230 230 dollars for her examination and shots yesterday but uh it's worth it for my girl and they cut her nails got to take her back because they they want to buff them so yeah but she's soaking a bit she's doing fine she'll come back but those shots are necessary but yeah Still a good day. I got uh, some flowers coming if nothing happens. Yeah. So I'm going to go out west and check on the west garden and check those uh, wrinkolalia, those uh, digbianas back there and hoping uh, everything's doing well with them. And that white thrip, today is time It's time to go back there and check and see, see what that thrip is doing back there to my garden. I hate to go back there. Because it has caused so much devastation. Yeah. And uh, ladies haven't kicked out a spike yet. I'm disappointed with this plant. But <sighs> don't want to let it go. I'm just determined to get me a spike first. You know. I need something from her. I've been taking care of her for about three years now. And it's huge. It's kicking out loads of cakeys all over the place. The cakeys are growing really fast. Very fast growing cakey yeah so we're gonna hold on to her and wait and see if she'll eventually give me a spike yo okay but anyway my main reason was to come out here and uh who is this with this nice new growth yeah i hope you are a thriller that's a nice new growth coming there Looking really good. So we'll just take a quick look on the on the other side of the garden and see what's going on. Hold on. But yeah, I just wanted to show you my new acquisition here. I'm going to try this uh, Japanese, what is it called? Well, this is it. But I think it's called something else Japanese something what is the name sky pencil or whatever and uh, I'm gonna replace those uh, palms out there they're looking a little ragged and I'm tired of the mealy bugs is it mealy bug or that white bug aphid or something it's white but they love these uh, areca, areca palms. And I'm going to take them all out. Yeah, they look pretty shabby. 
Uh, they're having a hard time in this area for some reason, but I'm going to take them out. But the ones that are close to the house, they seem to be doing a lot better. I don't know. They probably do better if I put them in the ground, but I'm not putting them in the ground because they're, they take up too much space. I, can't, I won't be able to, to control them if I put them in the ground. So I'm going to take them, take all of them out and probably move them to the inside of the garden and I'm going to replace them with this plant here. I love it. It's straight up. It doesn't grow all over the place and intrude on neighbor's property and you know, I love it. I love the structure. So that's what I plan on doing with this guy. It's called a Japanese something. I don't know. I looked it up, but I can't remember the name. But this is what I'm going to replace those uh, Arika palms with on that side of the property. And then I might do the same thing on this side of the property also. Take these out and just line them all up. And then let them just grow straight up. And uh, that'll be it. And uh, hopefully, we don't have to worry about bug infestations on them. I'm going to read up a little more on them. But yeah, let's go see what's going on on the other side of the garden. Okay, we made it over here and not much going on. But I still like to give you a nice update on what is going on. Yeah. Dendrobiums are still blooming. Still have spikes on Phalaenopsis. And uh, little tiny spikes over there. And uh, a piece that I rescued from the west is clinging to her cedar shingle. Looking really good. Blooms are still hanging on. That vanda. I moved this moats vanda to this position so to get a little more sun. It was hanging here. So it was time to move it. Got some new growth. On um, Meyer Mech. What's it called? Where's my finger? Oh, here's a tag. Focus. That's what that is. We got some new growth going on, which is good, finally. And uh, it looks like this nice orange flower. I'm really looking forward to that. Definitely. Yeah. So, hope oh, new growth hang on. Doesn't see any spikes. I think it's still still too young to uh, put out a spike. But, hey, I'll take it if it decides to do that. I am not picky. Oh, I did pick up a few things uh, over the weekend. I picked up this nice batch of, uh, what do they call? Zinnia. That I'm going to put in the pot along with that uh, Japanese boxwood out, out in the front of the garden. Yeah, it's an annual, so it'll come back every year. That'll be really nice. <sighs> yeah. Everything seems to be drying up on Grandiflorum. Yeah, she's hanging in there, I guess, and all the rubber mulch plants are still hanging on doing their thing nothing's dying absolutely told you about the yellow uh bougainville i picked up there's one there there's one there seedling evergreens are still coming along fine yeah this is uh oh i decided to uh to repot oh my god did i forget the name yeah I'll have to uh, post it on the screen when I remember the name. But this is uh, that red Oncidium. Get, where's the tag? When I repotted, I guess I lost the tag. I'm sure I did. I see a tag back here. You see? Bartley Swartz. There you go. Found the tag. Okay, let me put you back in your pot. Okay, I just, I potted it up, and what I did was I potted this Oncidium up in some rubber mulch. Got rubber mulch, and I got the lava, I got the river rock in there, and I got them in some, some seashells. 
yeah, and whatever sphagnum it had around the base, I left it. Yeah, and that new growth is, is coming along just fine there, Barbie Swartz. It didn't die out, so I thought it would reject that rubber mulch, but that rubber mulch holds a lot of humidity. I have to water less. It just, it steams. It's just steamy, and it's really good, and it's, and it's I love it. I, I don't think I'm going to change it. Yeah, all my new orchids now are going in rubber mulch and uh, and uh, lava or river rock. One or the other I'll choose. But it's going to be a mixture of rubber, rubber mulch, and uh, lava or river rock. Yeah. All my echeverias and sedums and everything's doing good. I'm going to create another garden out front for my cacti. And uh, succulents. Now that I cut the tree back, there's a oh, I see a new branch coming up there. <laughs> Let me see if I can get that so I can send it to my yard man that cuts the trees. That's a new branch right there coming off of my oak tree. See, she will not be stopped. I just love her. She is doing fantastic. Absolutely. I just love it. But yeah, all of these cacti and everything are going to go out into the new garden. Once I get it together, I got a new spike coming on my Tolumnia here. You see that little thing? Right there, it's coming along. And the other spike is doing fine here. It's looking gorgeous. Yeah, Tolumias like us. Um, I learned the hard way. They like a certain amount of sun. And uh, this seems to be it because they're spiking. So let's just hope it is what it is. And I'll be getting more spikes, hopefully. Got a couple of them down in there. But if I find them, I'm putting them out in this position for my Tolumias. Yeah, absolutely. So just taking a peek and making sure it's not too much sun for these Catlia that I have up here. Yeah, they get that easterly sun and then eventually, there it is, it goes overhead. Sorry about that. And that'll be it for them. We've got some more succulents there that are going out in the garden. My avocado tree is kicking out a new branch. Absolutely. Can't wait to put that out in the garden. Mm -hmm. So, it's about love still going on in the garden on the east side. We're going to go and take a look at what's going on the west side. I wanted to get my happy first. Get my sad last. <laughs> oh, got a new bloom on. Beautiful here. She's opening up. Phalaenopsis. Yeah, still no action going on the Thursiflorum here. I think I'm going to repot the Thursiflorum today in um in this a net pot or this net pot here. I'm going to put it in this net basket here. Take it out of that uh beach pail. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that today and see if I can get some action going. <clears throat> Got my little cat Leia down in here. What are they called? Uh, day tripper. Yeah, they're just little guys. They're coming along fine. Yeah, very fine. Coming out of the side of the pot. That means you're okay. Now, now I'm okay with that. Let's look at um, Akiko Sato here. I forgot the new growth that was coming along. It's pushing out something. You know, I don't know, maybe that's a leaf in there. Can you see that? Oh my God, that can't be a leaf. It's two-headed. Think this thing is kicking out butts? Let's see. Whatever it is in there, let's see, focus. Let's see if we can get that. It, it has two heads. I see another head in there. You think it's kicking out butts? Excuse the nails. I didn't get my manicure. But it's a... What is that? Is that a leaf? What the heck is that? Yeah, it's split at the top, so that's a leaf. Maybe it's kicking out too. But this is the part of a key. This is the uh, division that I took from uh, the Akiko Sato. 
like a couple of months ago, and I left the other part on the west garden, and now the white meat and the white aphids have totally killed it. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. I'm, I mean, that I, I got lucky. I didn't leave her back there on the west side because she would have been gone, dead, 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 dead. So she came out here. I brought her out here on the east side. I know, just to have a piece on the west and a piece on the east, okay? Because you just never know what's going to go on in those gardens. But uh, her new growth is coming along fine. And I'm still trying to see what that is down in there. But off camera, I'll see. But hopefully it's a leaf or who knows? She might bud from there. Just never know. Oh, and I picked up some some cacti this weekend. Fell in love with them. And uh, especially this one. Don't know the name, but I thought it was so cute. It's going out into my, my uh, cacti and succulent garden once I get it together. Yeah. And here's a weird one here. It's a variegated monster cactus. Let's see if we can find a name. It's an ugly thing, but I love it. That's what it's called right there. Varigata. It's gorgeous. It's really, and of course, this little paddle, what's it called? The strawberry flower. Got that one. Yeah. And I got this one, which is really cute. Look at those little flowers. It is so cute. I can't wait to get my garden um, together. I was inspired by. Um, She'll kill me if I forgot the name of her channel, but I'll post it up on the screen. She's a have a lovely cactus business out in in uh, Santa Monica, California. She's really funny. I love her. She just did a video like ten hours ago. They did a they had a project on somebody's home, and it's gorgeous. And uh, I think it was she and her daughter. I don't know, maybe a worker. Jumped. I just, I'm just new to the channel, so I don't know really who, who is who, but she, I'm going to say her daughter. I don't know. Because once she jumped in the pool, she says, let me go get her, because I figured only a daughter would do that for a mother. Go get my mother out of this cold pool, you know. But anyway, after they finished the project, oh, I'm sorry. I, well, I'm looking out into the garden, and I'm going to cut that part and paste it, the part where I only showed the the fence but she and her daughter jumped in the pool after they finished the project and that pool was cold the water was cold and it took her a while to uh climb out of that pool because she had her clothes on you know the things we do <laughs> sometimes we don't think first but look at that look at the little flowers on this growing isn't that gorgeous that is so sweet i put a piece of this in celeste pot too so she'll have this this cacti growing in her her love me planter that I made and I gave her a piece of this also I gave Celeste a piece of this I think I gave her a piece of the strawberry tip I know I gave her some uh, for some of the monster yeah I might I didn't give her any of this because I didn't see any baby buds growing and this is pretty prickly so I didn't touch that but I gave Celeste a piece of this one a piece of that cacti yeah, she got one, two, three, four extra pieces of cacti in her in her I love my co-worker dish. Not love, but you know, love from my garden to my co-worker. Yeah, it's love. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's still love. And she definitely, I think Celeste has some of this. Yeah, but yeah. So that's going to be my new project. Um, probably this summer, getting my uh, cactus and succulent garden going because of the inspiration I got off from a YouTuber. Absolutely. So something to keep me busy. I'm gonna put a lot of love in that uh in that garden. I can't wait to get started. Hey Ma, how you doing baby? You feeling better? Hmm? I'm your rabies shot and all those other shots they gave you that I couldn't see them poke you. They wouldn't let me see them stick you. You feeling okay? Yeah, pretty good. Great. Well, I rub my Betty, because you owe me, right? Yeah, I need to wash your face. Yes, I do. Wash my old girl face. Muffet's 10 years old. 
I was telling everybody she's eight. My getting old, old man. Yeah, say we both are, right? Say we both getting old, baby. That's right. Let me show them Celeste. Celeste, uh, new additions. There's a new addition right there. That's the monster right there. A little pup from the monster. And another pup from, uh, who are you? Right there. From the cactus. And where's the other piece of love that I gave her? But her planter is full. It's full of love. And I hope she takes very good care of it. Really do. She, it'll break my heart if she doesn't. Where's a paddle? I didn't give her a piece of paddle. No, I didn't give her a paddle. Oh, I almost stepped on my muff. You better stay out of my way. But um, I think I gave myself the paddle. What did I do with it? Yeah. There it is. This is the one I'm taking in the office from me. So I gave myself the paddle and a couple of other additions. Yeah, it's a little tiny pup there. I don't know which it came off of, but it's tiny. I give it a chance to grow. But yeah, I'm rambling with excitement. Just wanted to come and uh, give you an update on my Rinkalalia brassavolas. And now you see how things get out of control in this garden? It just grabs you. You just cannot. St I'm telling you, you can't stop. You cannot stop. I'm out here all day sometimes just enjoying it but back to this girl very happy she's giving me a bud and uh, thanks for stopping by don't want to hold you up too long thanks for watching and have a great gardening day absolutely let me see if I can get it maybe Oh my, I, I missed this. I wasn't expecting this spike on this. Uh, let me see if I can get the towel. It's back off into the jungle. Let me try to move things out of here. Oh, I do see the tag. There it is. Yeah, we got a tiny spike coming. Where is it? Right there. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Underneath the Rico Palms. Look at that. Fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. She's off in the in the jungle all alone by herself and she decided to kick out a spike. That's just fantastic. Happy growing. Okay, I had a few minutes to uh, repot Thursiflorum, Dendrobium Thursiflorum. It's potted on the base that we have rubber mulch. We have seashells next. We have river rock, and we have a little sphagnum that's uh, wrapped around the base of the plant. And we're going to see how she does. Maybe she'll start to bloom now because her pot, she was pot down. And whatever pot she was in, I don't know. Oh, she was in her, her, her beach pail. Yeah, she was doing really good in there. Really good. Put out several new growths, and, you know, the, um, the canes are, are knotted. They're, they're not, but she haven't kicked out any buds yet. So we're going to have to wait and see what she's going to do going forward. And I'm going to sprinkle a little um, charcoal and uh, slow release on this, on this bag, on the orchid's bag. Where is that? And this is the one that I use always. Yeah. So we're going to do that with the charcoal. And then... Uh, and the slow release. And that's it for Thursday Floor. And ho hopefully she'll give us some flowers. Happy growing. She's pretty tall. Pretty tall plant. Well, I just want to make another note on my Wilbur chain. Chain. Now that I changed the, the tray, it doesn't leak anymore. It actually holds water. And I added seashells to my Boba Phylum tray. And the bulbs have almost doubled in size. These bulbs have gotten so fat. And it's putting on a new, another new growth here. This is a new growth here. And this is a new growth here. The leaves are beautiful. And the bulbs are scrumptious. 
they are getting fatter. So the tray that I had it in wasn't holding the water. So I guess the trick is for my hurt Wilbur chain is that he likes sitting in water, raining water. So if that's what he likes, then that's what he's going to get. And the roots are, if you can see those roots through there, look at those roots. Constantly taking up water. They are looking fabulous. I love it. Maybe I'll get me a spike soon. Let's just hope. We're hoping Wilbur Chang looking really, really good. Happy growing.